Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Bert the Stormtrooper and this is the home of That's Just Prime, the comprehensive Optimus Prime review series. I also review other Transformers, lots of G1 stuff, as well as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters, GoBots, and pretty much any other toy that may jump out at me. I also do the occasional arcade and pinball machine videos, unboxings, blogs, challenges, and miscellaneous videos where my daughter usually makes fun of me. Those are a lot of fun. If you're new to the channel, thanks for checking me out. Please be sure to click that subscribe button and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share if you like what you see. Hello and welcome, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Head Dropping Turtles and I love these toys. Originally released in 1991, they retailed for approximately $5 each and this is something really cool i always loved the look of these guys because they looked a lot like the original released figures but they also had little changes made to them and, and specifically in the belts that made them more cartoon accurate which to me i always like that a lot and these guys have some really cool wacky weapons and a very very neat action figure so you see all four of the turtles here they stand approximately four inches tall which was the average height of those original turtle toys and we'll take a look at each one of these individually now real quick i do want to show off the belt which is kind of the thing that drew me to these turtles or these particular releases originally so you can see that none of these guys have leonardo and donatello specifically they don't have the shoulder straps they all have um just the lap belts just like they did in the cartoon but it's interesting to note that every single one of these turtles on on their belts for example you see mikey right there they all have the holsters for their original weapons which they did not include right so they had new sets of weapons on these figures but for example with donnie right here if you had an original bow you could actually feed it through here and I'm, I'm not going to do it, but you get the idea. You can actually feed the bow through there. The same thing with Leonardo, even though it's only, let's see if Donnie's going to stand. Leonardo, even though it's only the lap belt, you still have the sieves back here for the swords as well. So you can feed those through. And uh, good luck trying to find the sword at the right side. So there you go. So you can actually do that with these guys, which I always thought was cool because originally with the, with the original release of the toys, Personally, I never liked the look of the shoulder straps. Here's Raphael. He's got pretty much the original belt. You can put the size right there in the front. You still got that pocket in the back for that big uh, butcher knife kind of a thing. Um, so, yeah, even though they don't include any of the original weapons or the weapons that were included with the original releases, they do have the spots on their belt where they can actually store them, which is really neat. And like I was saying, I never cared for the look of the shoulder straps, at least not originally when I saw the cartoon. It wasn't until I saw the movie and I kind of understood why the shoulder straps were there. And then I was you know, able to accept it and whatnot. But originally I didn't care for it. So that's why I like these turtles here. So uh, we'll take a look at each one of these individually. The articulation is going to be pretty much the same on all of these guys. So you're going to be able to turn them at the head. The arms can rotate at the shoulder forward, backward, all the way around. You can also rotate them right below the elbow. The legs can just kind of, they're kind of on a ball joint way up inside there, and there's no articulation on the knee or their feet themselves. So you can kind of move them around a little bit, give them sitting positions, and then just the one standing position. So the standard um, posability that uh, the original Turtles had. Now, the cool feature on these guys is that they're all head-dropping turtles. So they had the added feature where you could push the head in, and they're just barely peeking out of their shell right there and then if you want to have the heads pop out you just squeeze the legs together and out comes the head which is a really really cool feature so since we've got raf right here front and center we'll start with him we'll take a look at his accessories so he comes each one of these comes with some sort of a either a shield or some sort of accessory that you can put right on their heads right so you can see this is a kind of like a soda pop uh bottle cap it just says turtle cola and then it's got the indentation right there where it will actually fit over his head right there he has one side he only came with the one side that seems to be made out of a lobster which is interesting these guys most of these guys have like 
animal themed weapon. So there's the Psy for him, and he can hold this in either hand. And there you go. That's how he would hold that. Or instead of this, you can use his periscope. So every one of these guys is also going to have a periscope. So his periscope is looking at Shredder right there. You got the little sticker depicting Shredder right in there. And then, of course, the top of the periscope looks like Raphael's head with some sunglasses and little stickers to show off the eyes, which is kind of neat. So the thing that you could do here is that you could turn the arms in such a way you could drop his head down. And then he would be using the periscope to look above something or like above a fence or a wall, maybe, or even from inside of a shell. Since he's got his head just he hidden in a shell, he would be using the periscope to look around. And then, of course, you've got the cap here, which you would put on there. So there you go. He's completely disguised, but he's got his periscope uh, so he can see what is going on. And then, of course, when you're ready to jump into action, you just squeeze the legs. And wow, that really shot up. <laughs> These things really do shoot, shoot up quite a bit. So you're able to shoot this. You can use it as a projectile. Um, if you angle it just right, you get right to the tipping point. Um, you're able to maybe shoot it forward just a little bit. It's really, really tricky if you just angle it just right and then just kind of... There you go. So, and you would be able to shoot that at Shredder or Bebop, Rocksteady, one of those guys. So there you go. There's Raphael. We'll set him back here, and we'll take a look at Leonardo next. So again, with Leonardo, just to bring him in closer, you can see him in his details, same articulation that Raphael had, and just kind of going all the way around. So you can see him. I really do love the belts on these guys. And then for his weapons, he has a slingshot, which seems to be made out of a frog. So that's, uh, yeah, that's that's really, really interesting. He can just hold that in his hand. Or again, we can give him a periscope. And then he's got this sewer lid. I think, yeah, I think this is the sewer lid. And then that will fit right above his head there. Taking a quick look at his periscope, uh, you can see a foot soldier right there. And on this side, nothing. I'm wondering, I don't know if he had maybe stickers to depict eyes on this one or not. I, I'm not really sure. But again, we'll do the same thing with him. We'll go ahead and hide his head. And then we'll have him hold up his periscope. So you can see what that looks like. And I really do like these. These are such fun figures right there. So there you go. And then you would have the sewer lid right above his head right there. So he would be hiding that way. And there you go. So that would be Leonardo kind of tucked away, hidden, and doing his spy thing. And then, of course, once again, when we're ready to jump into action, squeeze the legs, and that thing's going to go flying. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to lose these things. So there you go. There's a quick look at Leonardo. We'll get him straightened out, back up, and we'll put him right back here again. Get these guys over here. We'll take a look at Donatello next. And again, I love the way these guys retain the colors from the original figures as well. Very, very cool. So there's Donatello going all the way around so you can see all the details on him. For his weapons, he has a bat. And the bat seems to have some sort of like a centipede or a millipede attached to it. Almost kind of looks like a bat with um, nails sticking out of it. But that's that's a, that's some sort of a worm uh, creature right there. So, And he would be able to hold that just like he would hold any other weapon. Just like that. And then, of course... We've got his other accessories. So for him, we've got a trash can lid. And I like the trash can lid because it's got the actual handle right there. So he can actually hold that in his hand. He's the only one of these guys that can actually hold the shield or the head accessory in his hand. I like that a lot. And then, of course, his periscope is going to show us we're uh, spying on Bebop right there. And then along the top there, again, we've just got the two eyes kind of sticking out there. So one more time, we'll just... Pop his head in, we'll give him his periscope, and we'll do his action feature real quick. So there he is, and we'll put the lid right on top of Donatello right there. So there you go. There's Donatello doing his spy thing, and then once again, we're ready to jump into action. We'll squeeze his legs, and that thing's going to go flying. So there you go. That's a quick look at Donatello. Take off his periscope, and we'll reset him. Get him back here. And finally, last but not least, we're going to take a look at Mikey. And again, just taking a quick look at Mikey all the way around. I love the way he is sticking out his tongue throughout the gritted teeth. That is so, 
So cool. And of course, if you have the nunchucks, you can put those back there. All that good stuff. So he's the only one that comes with a weapon that is not animal themed. So he's got his nunchucks, but these nunchucks look like they're made out of suction cups or maybe lamps or who knows what. But they're not animal themed, uh, which is, he's the only one out of this group that doesn't have that. But there you go. You can actually just have that. And now he's got his weapon right there. So there's that. And one more time, we'll take a look at his other accessories. He's got a pizza box. Of course, he's got a pizza box. So there you go, Ninja Pizza. I like that. It reminds me of the pizza box on the pizza thrower uh, that, that makes up the chair. So there's that. And then, of course, you got the indentation right there for the head. And his periscope shows him looking at Rocksteady. And then you've got like some bug eye thing going on right there. So once again, we'll just put this in his hands like that. We'll pop his head down, get him in spy pose. And then I like the ones with the indentations right there. So you can kind of line it up. And there you go. There's Mikey doing his spy thing. And when we're ready to jump into action, we'll squeeze his legs. And that's going to go flying in. He's not, well, at least we got to see one figure get knocked over, right? So there you go. There's a quick look at Michelangelo with his accessories and we'll get his we'll get him reset and we'll do a couple of quick comparisons and now for some quick size comparisons here are the 1991 head dropping turtles next to the original 1988 release of the turtles and next to the more recent Nickelodeon turtles from 2012 so there we have one last look at the head dropping turtles and this is the way that I personally prefer to display them. I have an extra set of original weapons. I think these are the ones that came with the reissues. I'm not, I don't even remember anymore. But yeah, this is the way I like to display them and, and they're an absolute beautiful figures. I love these guys and an excellent addition to any turtles collection. So I think that about covers the vintage 1991 head dropping turtles turtles what did you think of these figures let me know down in the comments give me some thumbs up subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified when i upload a new video i've got that donate button up there if you want to hit on that i certainly would appreciate it please share with your friends if you like what you see and i'll talk to you next time